Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video, I am going to teach you about how you can decide a tenant subscription resource group and resources in Azure site. Okay, so you can see this is my portal, uh, right? This is my portal and uh, you know, uh, one minute. So uh, you can see this is my default directory. There is one directory right and if i go to here subscription so you can see we have here one subscription under this subscription we can create a multiple resource group and so right so why it is required to understand this subscription hierarchy or resource group hierarchy because whenever you are building a project so you will be creating a multiple resources like like adf uh, databricks logic app and so 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 how will you decide which resource reside in which resource group or subscription whatsoever, right? And it totally depends on the company, uh, you know, how they have designed this architecture. So I am taking one example, correct? And based on this example, you can understand this. And maybe in your company, they are following the same scenario. Maybe they are not following the same thing. They are following some different thing. But let's let's understand it, right? So we can take an example of TCS company. So let's say TCS have a portal account, portal.azure.account. account. They have registered on it in some domain name, right? So now they will have one unique tenant ID, okay? We can also call it directory ID. Right. Now, now we have TCS, right? We have tenant ID and directory ID. Now what we could do is that under this, we, we can have multiple subscriptions. Subscription one, subscription two, or we can subscription three. Now, what is this subscription one, subscription two, subscription three? Now understand TCS, we are having a multiple leaders who are leaders or head of a department like that. Okay, so you can say Ki this is uh, one leader which is uh, holding or which is managing a sales department okay a sales project maybe or uh, he is op i mean he, this guy is you know running an operation project or, or handling an operation department and this is healthcare i'm just assuming okay or you can and in simple term you can say this is leader one leader two and leader three you do not need to understand this Okay, cancel it, cancel it, cancel it. You can say this is leader one, leader two, and leader three. Now under this leader one, it will it may have different managers, multiple managers like you know M1, M2, M3, M4, and so likewise for leader two also we have M1, M2, and then M1, M2 like that. Now M1 is running project one. M2 is running project 2, M3 project 3, M4 project 4. See this manager 1 is running project 1, manager 2 is running project 2, like that you know you can assume. So you can also say, uh, think the same that hey we have this leader 1, uh, so for this leader 1 I have assigned one subscription. Ki go and take this subscription, whatever you want to do, do it inside the subscription. Now for this leader 2, L2 and this is L3, correct. Now what you can do, this is leader 1, uh, leader 1, now we have subscription, right. Under this, we will create multiple resource group. Let's say we call it RG1, we call it RG2, we call it RG3, correct. Now, now this is manager 1, you can assume. Under this, I am saying he is running a project, right? So now he can create here resources. So resources means, resources means what? Resources means what? Resources means, uh, uh, you know, ADF he can create 
uh, adb he can create logic app whatever he can do he can he can do it in this uh, in this resource group likewise manager 2 will do it here manager 3 will do it here likewise it will work now at the end of the year or at the end of the fiscal year or whatever it is right if company wants to know uh, this tcs head okay wants to know how much we have spent on each project or, or, or which leader is spending how much money on their projects so they can easily now tcs will not gonna i mean the head of tcs is not gonna ask uh, managers right they gonna ask leaders hey leader one tell me how much you have spent so now leader one can easily uh, calculate the spend based on this resource group R, rg1 for manager one for manager two for manager three and they can also understand that leader one also can understand who is spending more and why whether it is necessary or not correct now this is a first scenario now there can be another scenario where you can assume that we have tenant id and we have here subscription so ideally what they do they they create multiple subscription and they create let's say this is for dev this is for the uat and another one is for prod okay now what they do they can divide the uh, you know resource group rg1 rg2 rg3 based on uh, managers only m1 m2 m3 and then based on this they can have their resources but i mean i don't think so it is very good way to do other than you know we will not understand uh, we will not understand uh, easily uh, to ident i mean we will not be able to identify the cost of each manager each leader in this case so what i do i always you know prefer uh, i always prefer uh, this way but yeah it totally depend on the company to company and uh, how, who is uh, designing this architecture and so so this is very uh, a very important thing to understand if someone asks you what is tenant what is subscriptions what is source group and resources and how you can decide it which one should go where right okay and uh, okay thank you bye bye we'll meet you in the next lecture